Hello. In this video I'll be helping you with the Alex problem type called Solving an Absolute Value Inequality Problem Type 3. We're asked to graph the solution to this inequality on a number line. And since we're asked to graph it, it's probably safe to assume that we're not going to have the two possibilities of no solution or all reals. No solution happening when we have an absolute value less than a negative. Absolute values are positive, so that would be no solution. The other possibility of an absolute value being greater than a negative being all reals, because absolute values are always positive, therefore greater than a negative number. So assuming we're not going to have either of those two special cases, that means we're going to have either an absolute value greater than a positive number, which is an or situation where we would, where either of the two solutions would work, or the absolute value is less than a positive number, that would be an and situation where we would need both solutions to overlap. And from this example, we can see that we have an absolute value less than a positive. So that's going to be where we need the two solutions to overlap. And our two solutions are going to come by first dropping the absolute value. x minus 2 is less than 2. And the second solution will come from dropping the absolute value, x minus 2, changing the direction of the inequality, and then changing the sign on the other side. So we're now going to have two solutions, and we're going to be looking for where they overlap. On the left-hand side, we would add the 2 over to the other side to get the x by itself, leaving us with x is less than 4. x is less than 4 would be everything to the left of 4. And then the equation on the right-hand side adding 2 to the other side leaves us with x is greater than 0 and that would be everything to the right of 0. Since we're looking for where these two overlap our final solution would be everywhere between 0 and 4 not including 0 and 4. So our graph would look like this. 